Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Shay. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I'm Tyler, part-time seller on eBay, Macari, Poshmark. And today's video is going to be another reseller recap. Yep. Uh, you guys seem to really love those and we really love doing them. So yeah, let's just jump right in. We would normally start off with Again, a t-shirt, no yep. but we're pre-recording we and we're still recovering from the COVID drama. Yeah. Uh, we both my parents now have it, so that's a lot of fun. My my family unknowingly brought someone to make up Christmas that drove a COVID bus, so we were a little bit panicked about that. Yeah, so basically we're dodging yeah. it on all sides, but so far so good, still negative. So let's hope that keeps on going. Ah, uh, but yeah, so let's pop right into it. Yeah, let's get started. Also, let's start on a really negative note, just, you know, to really kind of punch that home, um, goals. So we always start with goals and we kind of let you guys it's in. If you be, saw the video, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> uh, and, uh, if you saw the video, uh, it was like the rounding up of 2021. I will post that up here for you guys. We gave you our goals for the year and we want to basically, I think it's 205 a day we would have to do to hit our goal yes, of 75,000 in the year and also to hit a thousand subscribers and watch time. So, um, starting with the numbers, um, we're failing epically. <laughs> um, I don't it's even... been a rough, rough start to the year. Yeah. Normally we would share with you all the numbers, but we didn't want to depress ourselves that much. Um, we are less than a third of where we normally are at this point in the month. So eBay has completely died. Um, we maybe make three to four sales a week on eBay when we were ranging one to three a day. So if that gives you any idea. Yeah, maybe three to four a day. Yes. Yeah. So we've tried all the things. We've done all the sell similars. We've done, you know, kind of running a sale. It's got to done... pick up at some point. It has to. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Um, I do admit I took a little bit of a break towards the end of December. Um, so hopefully that's just kind of pulling me down and it's going to level out the more I list. Yeah, I don't know. We need, <laughs> we need someone to buy something soon. Send the positive vibes. Um, as for the YouTube side of it, um, we can't really complain there because we haven't posted because of, as said before, yeah. problems. Um, but yeah, we're here. And if you guys have videos that you want to see us doing this year um, or this month, anything like that, please leave them in the comments. We want to be doing videos you like. So any yeah. of those suggestions, we will do our best to get to. Shamelessly so, pander, we will do it. Yeah, anything. I mean... Loser shirt. Still no, on the table. No, Still on the table. Not doing it. <laughs> um, okay. You're going to have to find it too. Oh, I know where it is. Don't you worry. Um, okay. So sourcing highlights. So we like to kind of show you guys things that are different or exciting. And I think the first one, now I found it, but I didn't know what it was. He's very excited. I'm interested. It's history related and also nerd related. It's a graphic novel about World War II. So I looked up the comps. There's not a very... A lot of them sold, but the ones that are sold are around 50 bucks. Uh, so I'm excited to read it and then let her sell it. Yeah. So it hasn't been listed yet because he really wants to read it. It's I didn't know it was a graphic thick. novel. It's very thick. I picked it up because it looked cool yeah, and then I scanned it. The nice illustrations inside. So if anybody is a bookseller and you know anything about what I'm supposed to be looking for, I am shooting in the dark. But I thought that was really cool. Sure. Uh, the second source of highlight that we have is a gold jeans. This is the first time we have ever found this brand. I could post a picture from the listing um, up here somewhere. But we actually found it in the men's section, yep. which I mean, I guess it makes sense because the sizing, you know, they do the numbers like the 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, where sometimes we have it like, you know, five, six, eight, whatever. Um, but I was really excited to see that name. And then it was new to you, right? Yeah, I'd never seen it. So I may have left it at the store in the past. <gasps> Please don't say that. Oh. Uh, there's probably quite a few things that I've left unknowingly at the store. <laughs> but yeah, so those were the highlights that we have right now, which is really exciting for us. Now to the drama. Ooh, drama. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you who are not on Instagram and may have missed the Poshmark campaign drama, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a recap because it was just... It was just a lot. Like, it was just... So, essentially, what happened is we were uh, told that there were going to be Poshmark campaigns for every day in January. And what they were going to do is they were going to give you kind of like a category, it seemed, and you were going to get $5 credits on Poshmark for doing it. So, we were all excited. Like, the first few, I believe it was like leggings, running shoes. Um, I think Electronics actually gave $15. I missed that one. Um, there were a few. So, we all did them. 
And then they stopped. Out of the blue, complete silence, no one knew what was going on until somebody finally got a comment back from Poshmark. I can try to post a screenshot of that comment. And it essentially said uh, the demand was overwhelming. Uh, we didn't expect everybody to do this. Um, so we need to take a pause and figure out what to do. Yeah. Which was just like, what did you expect? Like you're offering free money. You thought we would For say no. For things that people are doing anyway. Right. Like you thought we'd say no. That seems strange. I mean, I literally started like planning my listing around it. So I'd be like, okay, so I need to do a sneakers today. So I'm going to find those. I'm going to make sure I do like, I was planning my listing accordingly because like, why wouldn't I? $5 is $5. That adds up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but then after it stopped, people were starting to notice that they weren't getting paid out. And they were getting a little concerned. And then the campaigns became backdated. So they were saying that they were due in December when they were campaigns for January. So people were getting very upset. Um, and then Poshmark sent out an email. God rest their soul. Um, and it basically, I mean, I can throw it on the screen and you can pause to read it. Um, but essentially, the email said, like, hey... Uh, we had too much interest and we can't afford this. So, so, so sorry. Um, but don't worry. We're going to give you more campaigns. There's one available right now. Go check it out. A and dollar. it was a dollar to list Patagonia. So not only are they going to give us campaigns that are more specific and make it harder to be able to do, but also it's a dollar. So thanks for nothing. I don't, I don't know. Like, how do you feel about this? It's almost worth taking down all of your items and then headedly reposting them as new items to qualify for the campaign and say, okay. Want me to relist my Patagonia and yeah. see if I can slide it on in there? Yeah, absolutely. Just malicious for compliance. My dollar. <laughs> malicious compliance. Still still take them for every penny that they have. Really, really reaching for that dollar. Yeah. Dollar dollar bills. Uh yeah. So if you guys uh were a part of that, if you saw what happened, I'd be curious to know the hilarious memes that you came across during this whole drama because they were good. They were gold. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, we have started um, moving into the sneaker section a bit more. Yes. So when we started um, sourcing and then for the last year or two, we've been kind of steering away from anything that takes too much work because frankly, we are lazy. Okay, that's just what it is. But Tyler watched a video um, by Profit Monster Drew Flips and Thrifts. Um, I will post that video up here somewhere so you guys can go check it out. Um, but he got very excited about the concept of cleaning sneakers and he really wanted to try it. So we went to the store specifically looking for sneakers that we could try this method on. And strangely, we found the exact pair. Yes. So uh, these are Hocus and they are the exact pair that he cleaned in the video. Uh, and honestly, we have basically the same results. 10 out of 10. It it worked as advertised. These were a really gross brown gray color, mm -hmm. especially on the toe, which is now it's, it's just a light clean gray color. Uh, we found a pair of APLs uh, that were orangey brown instead of blue. Uh, they look super, super nice comparatively. Uh, and recently we just found a pair of Nikes. Uh, fly knit. Fly knit. Really and, cute. Uh, However. Yeah, I, I'm going to need some help on this because I may have uh, been overzealous <laughs> in my scrubbing. And I may have destroyed some of the paint on the rubber. So if anyone knows how to touch that up, uh, Drew, please. <laughs> yeah, is there any, any kind of guidance? paint you can use on this that will uh, remain uh, on there? Um, is it possible that this isn't factory? I think it is, but it, you never it, it know. It is. I've looked it up, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have to like touch it up somehow. So yeah, if there's any kind of paint yeah. that you guys know that work really well on sneakers, or if you, you know, know that maybe people don't care so much about that, let us know. We, we're really kind of new in this category. We've only ever picked up like almost perfect yeah. condition sneakers. Um, never gone this route. But we're really excited about it because the more we look at it, the more we realize that there's a lot of money we're leaving on the table by not yeah. doing it. So I make it a mission now to find grungy shoes to bring home to him. And it yeah. brings him joy and brings me money. So, I mean. <laughs> we have a couple pairs drying right now, actually, that have pretty decent results as well. We do. A pair so, of Adidas and another pair of Hocus. Yeah. So stay tuned because sneakers may become a bigger part of our business. Um, okay. And then finally. Um, so this is actually 
pretty new. So I don't know all the details here, right? So this, but this is more kind of drama. Um, so Poshmark, uh, just yesterday, started sending out emails to Poshmark ambassadors um, who have um, sold a some amount of luxury items. And we, we don't specifically know the number yet, um, but telling them that they no longer have to send their items that are over $500 to Poshmark Authenticate. And now on first thought, that kind of sounds good, like great, we don't have to worry about sending it there and it taking a long time. And we also don't have to worry about them causing damage, which we all know they've done. All of those things will be negated. However, um, people are real mad about this. Now yeah. I am not a luxury seller, so I am looking at this from the outside looking in, um, but I can really see their side. So basically they're stating that this looks like it's opening it up for scammers to scam more. So they're going to somehow bypass this authentication process. Maybe they'll hack into an account that's already approved. Maybe they will, you know, mix in fakes with real so that they can kind of get in there. Um, and then it also opens it up for people to scam the legitimate sellers. So they will sell a legitimate purse and then the person will say it's fake. And unless they have a receipt proving that it's not, Poshmark never looked at it. So they can return a fake to you and there you go, you're scammed. So I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I, it's just going to cause so many problems. And they, the, Poshmark is looking at it as a way to get out of doing extra things, which I understand because they're they're behind, but it's just gonna, it's gonna cause so many problems because there's gonna be at least one or two horrible people that are going to take advantage One or of, two? Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet It's gonna be child. one or two thousands, tens of thousands, yeah. hundreds of thousands. It's gonna be so bad. It's, there's just so many problems with that because you're gonna see so many returns of a bag that is not even close to what you sent. You're going to right. see somebody's account being hacked and sending out things, or just somebody is going to bite the bullet and sell however many discounted designer items just to get in, into the program and start sending out counterfeit items. Yeah. It's, it's so I know chaos. people are going to say that chaos. there are plenty of other platforms out there that don't even offer an authentication service. I don't believe eBay does. Um, I think Macari does now, but it's only online. Um, and they're going to say, you know, if you do it there, then why can't you do it on Poshmark? And that's fair. Um, but I just feel that this was a draw for Poshmark. This was yeah. something that people looked forward to. I know a lot of luxury sellers would purposely price over 500 to have that extra layer of protection. Um, so I feel like it's just... Poshmark's already not doing well. I mean, if you, if you let their earnings uh, let you indicate that in any way. Um, so I don't feel like this is a good step, um, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not a business. I don't, I don't you know. Well, you are a I'm business. Not the, you're, that business. You're not Poshmark. Yeah, I'm not Poshmark. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and so I don't know. I mean, maybe they have a reason for it, but I am not a fan and I really hope that they kind of turn this around. Um, but we will see. I mean, stay tuned. It's very new. We'll see if it sticks and how it plays out. Yeah. Yeah. But that is everything we have today. Um, if there are things that you wanted to hear about that we haven't covered, please do let us know in the comments below. We can always cover it on a future one. Um, and yeah, I guess that is everything we have. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for watching.